In this video, I'm going to show you how anyone with a web browser and PowerPoint can produce an e-learning course in minutes. Okay, so this video was prompted by the idea that, you know, what happens if you don't have access to, you know, a, a fantastic e-learning authoring tool and let's say you're between jobs and you're trying to develop, you know, a portfolio and you just need an example of your design capabilities using a simple tool like PowerPoint. How do you convert that into a SCORM compliant course that you can upload to an LMS and share with a potential hiring manager or whoever it might be? In my case, uh, certainly there was a time between when I had my corporate career working for organizations and when I went freelance, where I didn't have access to tools like Adobe Captivate or uh, Storyline 360 and that sort of thing. So this would have been a great solution for me to get started. And hopefully for some of you out there, this will be an excellent solution as well. Okay, I'm going to show you how to use Scormer to upload your PowerPoint files and convert them into an e-learning course that you can then upload to an LMS. But for right now, let's talk about why you would want to do that in the first place. So let's take a look at the top five reasons I've come up with that you would use Scormer in the first place here. So reason number one. I remember back to when I first got started as a freelance e-learning designer developer, I didn't have access to an authoring tool. I did have Microsoft Office, so that meant I had access to PowerPoint, but I didn't have a fancy authoring tool like Adobe Captivate or Storyline 360 or anything like that. Reason number two, when you're an instructional designer but have yet to receive training with the more advanced authoring tools. So I've seen many people who just recently graduated, they just got their master's degree or their PhD, but they don't have any experience using the actual software itself. They can design the heck out of something if you give them PowerPoint, but they don't know how to use the tools even if they have access to them. Reason number three, you have zero time to complete this project. You'll see in a few moments that I'm able to produce an e-learning course that you can have up on an LMS literally within minutes using PowerPoint and scormer.com. And reason number four, when your client wants their PowerPoint converted to SCORM compliant courseware with a simple quiz and nothing more, they don't want you to mess around with it. They have in their mind, even if you disagree with their, their methodology, this PowerPoint is the course and here's a list of quiz questions to add at the end of it. And reason number five, maybe your client just doesn't have the budget for you to produce a full e-learning project. So in a simple, simple terms, you might only be uh, receiving $200 or $400 or $600 for this project. You don't want to spend a lot of time fussing about with an e-learning authoring tool, trying to import PowerPoint into it, edit those slides once they're done. Scormer is easy. It's literally, if you can click a mouse, you can use scormer.com. So once you log into scormer.com and you click on courses, you'll see this page here. And all you need to do is take your PPTX file, PowerPoint, and drag it over to here, and it begins to upload. Now, this will take a little bit of time to process, but just be patient. Now's a good time to go grab lunch or make a sandwich or have a coffee or whatever it is that you want to do. Okay, it looks like it's done processing the PowerPoint file here. So I think the next step that is logical is to add your quiz questions. So I'm going to click on the Add Edit Quiz button. And now I can start populating my quiz. So I'm going to paste the first question in here. And we'll place in our options. And I need to add a couple of extra answers. 
And all you need to do to indicate which is the correct answer is select the radio button for that particular answer. Let's go ahead and add another question. And of course we need to uh, select which is the correct answer. And I have a few more questions to add to this quiz, so I'll go ahead and do that now. Okay, so I have five out of five questions. I'm going to provide a different passing score because with five questions, I want them to be able to uh, be able to pass with answering four of them correctly. And I can go ahead and save the quiz at this point. So now that the PowerPoint looks good and we've added our quiz questions and previewed the PowerPoint, let's download this as a SCORM compliant course here. You'll see it's relatively quick and I'm just going to rename this and we'll save that to my desktop here. I'm going to navigate over to reviewmyelearning.com. I have an account over there and it's a great tool for testing LMS functionality, but also an excellent tool for sharing your e-learning for review with your stakeholders and perhaps your subject matter experts. I'm going to log into my account and I'm going to upload this and we'll see how it works. Okay, so I'm going to click on the add a course link at the top of the page here. We can drag our zip file over to the center of the page here and we'll go ahead and create course. So I've now navigated to my list of courses and there it is there. So let's actually review it and see how it looks. So again, like before, we saw it scale up or down depending on the size of window. And of course we can close down the uh, film strip on the left-hand side there and just use the navigation controls to go through this project. Let's make sure this animation still works. Yep, that's cool. And even the transition between slides works here. You'll see a message at the bottom, you've completed the course. Click here to begin the quiz. So now we can see what that quiz looks like. So which license offers designer in PowerPoint? That's the Office 365. Correct. Submit becomes next. Uh, Morph makes smooth animations and objects. Cool. Also Office 365 is the answer for this one here. And the answer is yes. And show me is the correct answer here. Congratulations. We've answered five out of five questions correctly. Our score is 100%. If you thought this video was helpful, please like and share it with your colleagues. If you need help with Adobe Captivate, hire Paul for one-on-one -on -one instruction. Paul's goal is to focus on lessons based on your specific needs. Visit his website at CaptivateTeacher.com. And don't forget to subscribe to his YouTube channel.